we previously looked at how to create a class and in it as constructors. However, here we want to look at defining a few things a little closer, a little bit more detail as we talk about the constructors and creating an object from our class. One thing we don't want to do is declare the value of an instance variable. So if we went up here to where we define our instance variable and assigned it as such, now we can actually build this and have it not generate an error. However, this is not considered good technique. We always want to do things from within a constructor. And a constructor is always called. That's why we're going to do it inside the constructor. So we're going to move this and fix this. Here's an example of what we call a no arg constructor. That is a constructor that we do not pass an argument to. You can see that we give a default value for our radius variable. And we should for all of our variables to make sure they all get a value. Now, if we did not have our no arg constructor, and we went to go construct an object, a default constructor would be called. However, it would not know what values to assign to our instance variables, and that could be a problem. So I always recommend having a no R constructor as part of my constructors. Then we can also have constructors where we pass in values so we can set a specific value for our constructor. This is a good idea and is very helpful for easily creating values for our constructors. We will going to go create our object. What we'll do is we'll go into our main function here, specify our class name. This is essentially our data type. We'll give it an instance name, in this case C1, and we'll call the constructor where we pass in a value. Likewise, if I want to create a constructor using the knower constructor, I simply will not write the parentheses or pass in any values. This creates a constructor. Because no values were passed in, we use the no arg constructor, and therefore it gets the default radius for us. And that's how we create our instance for our objects.